Hey everyone, in today's Facebook video, I wanna show you how to create a cover photo for your Facebook page. Now they're pretty much the same process if you do this for a business page or a personal page like your own Facebook page, but I'm gonna focus on it on doing it for a business page and it could be any type of business. It's the same process, the size is the same. And if it's your first time here, I post easy to follow social media and tech videos every single day on this channel, so please consider subscribing. So let's go ahead and use a platform that I like to use to make this really easy. And by the way, this could be a video too. So if you press change cover right here, you could choose a photo or a video. I'm gonna just show you the photo option in this video. So let's go to canva.com. And if you're familiar with Canva, this is gonna be pretty simple. And if you're new to Canva, I'll try to walk you step by step on how to do this. So what we're gonna do here is first create an account if you don't have one yet. That step is pretty straightforward. And we're gonna start with a template. So come up to the templates up here and we're gonna do a Facebook cover. You could also search for Facebook cover. Let me click this option. And as you go down here, you could create a blank cover and design completely from scratch. But typically I like to just browse over here at the different covers they have to try to start with something that has some of the elements of a design that I like. So I'll go ahead and go through these and I'll go ahead and start with this one just for this example. So I'll go ahead and click this option and then it's gonna open up this page where I could press use this template. Now what's great about this is the Facebook cover size 820 by 312 is already decided for me. I don't have to know what size the different things that I'm creating are. So a Facebook cover is this size, Instagram photo is a different size. Everything for different social media platforms usually have a different size to them. So Canva just takes that out of the equation where they just tell you what it is. So I'm gonna say use this template. And here on Canva, I could pretty much change everything I see over here. So let's take a look at the left side. Right now I was on the template page, so I could see all these different templates. So if I decide to change my mind here and choose something else, I can change that here as well. So if I just click a new template, it will change that for me. But I'm gonna go ahead and press the undo option right here. So that's the template page you're on. Then you have your photo page where you could use different photos, search millions of photos here. Some are paid, some are free. So you could clearly see if you scroll over them, if they have a little free icon on them or if they have a little crown icon that we might see later on where those are gonna be the paid upgrades like this one right here. It says the pro version of Canva gets you this one. So we'll try to create this with all the free options, but I'll put a link to Canva Pro in the description below this video if you wanna try it out. So now let's look at our Facebook cover and see what we like and what we don't like. Basically, the Facebook cover is made out of multiple different elements. You got your background, which is kind of this blue pink background color. Then you have the elements that sit on top of that background, like this photo is the element that's sitting on it, this checkerboard here, and then you have text. And that's the thing that's typically in the very front. So you have text in the front, then photos, then the background. So in this case, I do wanna change a few things here. First, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the very front thing, which is my text. So all I have to do is click and select my text here, and press delete and I could type my own text. Now I typed in my text. Typically the text I use is a handful of words that really explain what the page is all about. So this is exactly like my YouTube page where I make social media and tech videos to make them simpler for people to follow along. So all I have to do is select this text now and I have all these options on top of the page like changing the font. So let's say I wanted to use a different font like I'll choose this one instead. If I change my mind, I could come back to the one I was on. Or I could go ahead and try different fonts here. There's your font size. So if you wanted to change the size, maybe make it a little bit bigger, you could easily do that. And you have your font color if you wanted to change the color. In this case, I do like the blue, so I'm gonna leave it as is, but you have all these other colors to choose from. You could also click this option to get even more colors here. And the normal italic underline, uppercase. But right now, let's say I made all my selections. I could go ahead and grab this box right here and move it where I want. So I'll just kind of move it on this side instead. We'll deal with the pictures in a second. I'll put it over here. And I'm gonna change the size because I want social media and tech to be on the same line. So you just have to grab the sides here and just stretch them out and it will change kind of how it lays out. So this is kind of how I want it to be. And I'm gonna double click it again and select the whole thing. I'm gonna center it. So that's this option over here. 
alignment, click it, and it will center the text just like that. And if you want to change some of the text colors to be different than the others, you could just select the color option with that part of the text selected, and you just change that portion of it for me. And I'll go ahead and click away here. So now this text is in a box. So I could select the box and I get the color option here. So if I wanted to change the color of the box, I could easily do that as well to make it pop a little bit better. So I kind of like this dark one over here. I'll select that one and I'll click away. Now let's go ahead and deal with the images that we have here. So let me just move the box a little bit over and I'll select the images and I'm just going to press delete because I don't want to use the images that it gave me in the template. I'll add some here from the photo tab. So I showed you the template tab. Now we're in the photo tab and we could go ahead and just drag some images over. So I'm going to go ahead and search. So tech, I'll search for that and see what kind of images it gives me. Actually, let me look up phone because I do a lot of phone videos. And let's say this is one I want to choose. Again, it's free. I could just go ahead and grab and drag and drop. And then I could grab the corners here to resize that and put it over here. I'll make it even a little bit smaller so I could give room for another one underneath. And let me look up social media to see what they have about social media here. This one looks pretty cool. So I'll just go ahead and drag and drop this one. And then again, resize it and just move it over here. I'll try to get it to the same size as the other one here. Now, some of these other elements that it had on the template like this one, let's say I don't like that. I could select and delete and the one on this corner, I could do the same. And now that I could see that this box maybe should be more center. So I could just go ahead and grab it, bring it up here and place it just like that. Now, what if you want to add your logo, for example? Well, you could come to the upload option right here, click this. And in the upload option, you could bring in just about anything you want. So I could bring images or videos. In this case, I'm going to bring a logo. So I'll press upload and I'm going to choose this logo here. And I'm choosing a PNG version of this photo. PNG basically means the background is transparent. So it's going to look a lot nicer on my banner. So I'll select it and press open and it brought it in. So now I could just like any other photo, grab this image as soon as it's done uploading and place it somewhere in my image. And then I could go ahead and go ahead and change the size. Let me just put it, let's say on this top corner and I'm going to shrink this checker box over here. So it's not covering it. And just to show you some of the other options you have, you could also bring elements, which comes in really handy. So a lot of the things that you see over here are elements like you have shapes and frames and stickers. So if you wanted to add a sticker, like let's say I want to add a heart sticker here because that represents a lot of things on social media. I could just go ahead and grab one of these. For example, I'll just choose a free one and then I could go ahead and resize it here and put it somewhere among my image. Now, when I use templates, I usually don't try to add a lot of elements because I'm not a graphic designer. So I use the template to start with. So I have some of those graphic design elements to start with and I don't have to create from scratch. So if I'm happy with this, I could leave it. If I'm not, I could just press delete, but you get the idea. You have a lot of elements here to choose from. And if you have some design background that really comes in handy, you also have the same option with text. Let's say the text that was here wasn't enough and you wanted to add more, you could just go to the text option and then you could add from a lot of these templates here, like just drag and drop. And you could go ahead and resize this text, edit this text, put it wherever you want. So you could have more text on this image, for example. In this case, I'm happy with just having this much text. I don't want to really crowd this page, so I'll press delete. And the last thing we haven't talked about is the background. So let's go to this background option right here. And right now, if I select my background and I could see that this background is made of two different colors. So if I wanted to change the color of this background, I could go ahead and select one of these options. I could also select this transparency option and bring the transparency down. You can see how that's making a difference. And if I bring the transparency all the way to zero right now, it's just showing me the white background, which is just the default background. But if I select any of these, like let me select this one and drag it over. You can see now that that becomes my background. And I happen to like this more than the one I just had. It just gives it more shape and texture here. So I'm going to leave this one, but this page allows you to kind of change your background to all these options or solid colors. And let's say you're happy with what you got out of this design. We're going to go ahead and download it. So up here, I'm going to press download and we could save it as a PNG. That's fine. And the size is already decided for us. And we're going to go ahead and press download. 
and it's downloaded it to our computer. So let me press X here. There is one benefit here that's really big for the Canva Pro I wanted to mention, and that's this icon resize. Because the resize, for example, you create something for Facebook, it lets you basically resize it and fit it to all these other platforms like Instagram in this vertical format, Twitter, LinkedIn. So you don't have to create all those elements from scratch. So I usually use Canva Pro just to get this option. It's a very powerful option to save you a lot of time. Now, let me go back to Facebook and let's go ahead and change this cover photo. So I'll just have to press change cover and I wanna upload because it downloaded it to my computer. I'll press upload. I'll choose that option here and I'll press open. And just like that, you replace that image and I could go ahead and press save. And it's always saved on canva.com. So I could always come back to canva.com, make additional changes to this, and then go ahead and download the new version as well. And there's also this option file where you could make a copy again and then work off the copy if you don't wanna change the original. And that's how you create a Facebook cover photo for your business using Canva. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for easy to follow social media and tech videos and I'll see you next time.